Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. We got a few boxes here. We're gonna open these boxes and see what's in them. I already know, I think you know one of them, um, but we're gonna check them out because they are future videos, very future videos. So, uh, let's open them up and see what they are. Okay guys, we're going to open this big one first because we already know what's in it. It's a fender for the truck. In fact, it's all body parts for the truck. Um, this is just going to go under unboxing videos because, well, we're not in the shop and it's not late night. So, let's go ahead and pull this fender out of here. I mean, you know, the old girl's got over half a million miles on it now, so I think, I think she deserves some body stuff let's open this up hopefully it's not damaged okay let's go ahead and check these out This one's going to be kind of a, it'll be like a two-part video because I got some prep work to do on it first before we put it on. Because as you can see, the fender is colored in black. And, um, and the truck's gray. I don't know if I'm going to paint it because if I do, it's not, you know, it's not going to match the rest of the truck. But, um, I may just, uh, I'll probably just sand it off, primer it gray. <laughs> Looking good so far. Uh-oh, we got poppies here. Monkey loves them things. I better save them for her. All right. So here's the fender. Now, just a Taiwan fender. But, you know, it's only a hundred bucks, so... But yeah, we'll be sanding this off. We'll primer it gray. So let me set this over here out of the way. Like I said, this fender, the fender on her truck's always had that, that dent in it. Ever since before we met, she backed into something at Walmart or whatever. And uh, she blamed it on her mom because I said, was she driving? She said, no, she wasn't even with me. I said, well, how's it her fault? She said, well, I went over to get something for her. I picked something up for her, or whatever. I said, it still ain't her fault. You're in control of that truck. But anyway, the dent keeps getting bigger for some reason. Because I know one time she hit something. She had to have hit something. Then I think another time uh, somebody backed into her pretty much in the same spot. So it used to have yellow paint on it. Okay, so let me set this over here. if I don't damage it first. Now, here's another one. I'll get you over here a little closer. All right. Let me get on the other side of you so I know what I'm looking at here. All right, let's check this out. By the way, everything that I got here came um, at least whoops came at least a week early a couple of them came this this actually came a week and a half early and the fender and the bumper also came a week early All right. 
nice box here for eBay stuff. If you guys want to buy something, let me know. I got two of these. Hopefully they're the right ones. Yeah, looks like they're the right ones. Okay, now... Oh, wow. I think it even came with the lights. More poppy stuff for her. She likes them. Who doesn't, right? The These ones are about pop. Okay. Yes. Even came with the bulb. All right, and it's orange. I love the orange bulbs. Uh, when we first got together, hers had white lights in it, and I put orange in. Uh, but... Let's see, which one is I think it's this one. It's the passenger side, the right-hand side. Um, the clips broke on it. And every once in a while, it'll fall out and it'll be hanging, swinging. So, I thought, well, why just get one? I went ahead and got them both. Because I got them in a set. One, if you bought just one, it cost, it was only like $3 cheaper than buying a whole set. I think these were like 30 bucks. So, we're good there. All right, let's set these over here. Now, the big item here, I may have to back you up a little bit here, kind of get you all in there. Now, you guys probably noticed the back bumper of the truck. It's kind of twisted a little bit. Well, that happened because of this. I can show them the thrift store. <laughs> now, it's high time that I bought this stuff with the money we got from the, uh, from the, uh, insurance company and man we had to fight them tooth and nail jesus state farm they suck they don't want to pay for anything well why have insurance right you know i mean at least the kid had insurance and it was his fault but florida's a no fault state so he didn't even get a ticket but had we been on a motorcycle we would have both been killed there's no question you know there's no doubt in my mind we would have both been killed and if not we would have had some very permanent injuries and you know state farm just they just don't want to pay out they'll take your money if you know if you're going through them they'll take they'll take that money from you but they don't want to give it out and you know florida being a no-fault state it's like they don't feel like they should have to pay because it's nobody's fault but it's a good thing that we got we went ahead and lawyered up pretty quick because i knew there was going to be problems when when the kid got out of the, got out of his car you know, yelling why was we in the middle of the road. So anyway, um, but, so finally we did get a check from him. We had to get our attorney involved and I did send them a clip of the accident. And um, I mean, it was pretty much undisputable. I mean, they had to pay, why should our insurance pay for something that wasn't our fault? So, and they, they felt the same way. Well, it's a no fault state, it still doesn't matter. He was clearly at fault, I mean, you know, he was negligent. When I brought up that word, you know, wasn't too long later, they had called and said, okay, you know, we'll get a check in the mail for you. But, okay, so let's open this up. Excuse me. Now this bumper was, um, let me get you opened up here where I can see you. This bumper, it's a chrome bumper. You'll see here in just a second. It comes with everything. It even comes with new bolts, brackets. Um, I just want to go with a black bumper because the, the truck is trimmed out in black anyway, right? So I thought, well, let's just go with a black bumper. She said, but it's got a chrome one on it. I'm like, honey, it's got a half a million miles. And she said, okay. Well, when I was looking at it, this was like 40 or $50 more than the black bumper. I was like, all right. And 
So I kept, <laughs> I was going to get the black one. I kept hearing her say, okay, all right. So I said, chrome, fuck. <laughs> so here, here's the bumper bracket. Now I'll show you the difference in this bracket. Now this is like the fourth time this truck's been hit. Well, this was the third time, but I'll show you the brackets from the first time when we were together and we got the new bolts right here. and we got the clips that go inside for the license plate okay let's set this aside and I figured we'd do this outside there's more room and also it's a nice day out so A little warm out, but all right, these things are heavy. Right. And more poppy stuff. This should keep her busy for a while, right? She'll pop all my bubbles and I, I won't have anything to pack with. Okay, so, yes, there they are. All right, comes with the lights, the license plate lights. Now I did, the first time I fixed the damn bumper, I did a video on it. I'll do a video again, I think I'll just kind of fast forward through it so yes all right comes with the lights the brackets and the bolts so this is everything here let me get you off the stand here and I'll show this to you so she wanted chrome so I got her the chrome I still think it would have changed the look a little bit going a little black but anyway so that's cool it comes with these comes with the I showed you the uh, plastic pieces for the license plate this is a bumper mount for your ball hitch I hate them things they shit out long but I'd like to put a regular hitch on it so there we go. So that's everything in a nutshell there. All right, so I'll show you the difference from the first time she got hit, which it really didn't hurt the bumper that much. So we just put the old bumper back on. It was twisted a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. I just replaced these, okay? Uh, I'll show you this is what it looks like now I'll take you in and I will show you the uh, what happened to the bumper uh, the first time well it's not really I should say the second time but the first time when we were together um, I'll show you how hard she got hit which she's still fighting that she's got a deposition to do uh, Monday I think she's still fighting that for her injuries I mean she lost her job and uh, you know all this I, I mean you know we couldn't get married her summer was gone we ended up selling the boat because we couldn't haul the boat got pulled over a couple times because the bumper was bent down and I had to argue with them one time she got pulled over we was on I, she was taking me to work I was on my way to work and we got pulled over and he says all right uh, he gets her license insurance and he says well the reason why I stopped you was your bumper I said yeah he said it's illegal I said how's it illegal he said it's bent down I said uh, in the state of Florida the only requirement is you have a bumper on there is that correct he said, well, I'd have to look it up. I said, so you're pulling this over for something you don't know anything about. I said, I've already looked into it. It doesn't say anything about how the bumper's supposed to look or anything. 
So he said, well, you just need to get it fixed. I said, we will after we go to court. But anyway, yeah, I told him, I said, the bumper is on there. I see in Ohio on a pickup truck, you don't need a bumper because you got all that bed space. A car you do, but a truck you don't. Now down here, you have to have a bumper. Well, it was on there, so he couldn't really argue because he had no idea what the hell he was talking about. And I even called him on that. I said, well, you know, why are you pulling us over for something that you might think is illegal and I know it's not? And I said, you don't even know for sure because I, you know, I asked him for the numbers. <laughs> you know, can, can you prove to me that this is an illegal bumper? Well, I'm, I'd have to look it up and I'm like, well, I don't have to. So anyway, let's go in and I'll show you what it did to this. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the damage, this is how hard he hit, hit her. Now as you can see, this is supposed to be straight out like that. And both of them is exactly like that. So there we go. Bent them both down, almost identical. And he said he was doing, he was going between 10 to, and 15 miles per hour. But here's the thing monkey's messaging me but here's the thing how's he know how fast he was going if he didn't even see the damn truck she was sitting at a freaking red light and he slammed into her and this is what it's supposed to look like you know other than this little dog leg here I mean it's straight out and as you can see that's how hard he hit her so anyway so stay tuned for some more videos it'll be real soon this weekend I'm gonna start on that truck and we'll get some stuff done so you're looking at about there's going to be a couple videos of the fender because i'll i'll get it uh prepped and everything and primered sand before i put it on there so then we'll do the bumper and we'll do the lights okay guys so i gotta hold you still i left my tripod outside so i'm gonna go get my stuff so stay tuned for some more videos and um like i said this is just going to go under an unboxing video because uh, you know, we're not really in the shop and we're not really doing anything. So, damn that. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, a legend. I'm gone for now. And remember, check out Monkey 1000's channel. Check out Moo. He's awesome. You can, he's one of my featured channels. So, if you go to my channel, you'll find him there. You'll find Monkey there. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you all soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.